Hello, fire signs. Welcome to a reading all about your future partner, the person coming towards you. What do you need to know about them, their traits, characteristics? What do you need to know that you might not know any hidden factors? I'm going to be doing individual readings for each sign. So Aries will get a spread, Leo will get a spread, and Sagittarius will get a spread. And I'll include the timestamps in the description box of the video. So you can jump ahead to a sign if that's what you want to do. We'll start with Aries. All right, Spirit Angels Guides. I'll be using different decks as well for all of the signs. All right, Aries. What does Aries need to know, Spirit, about their future partner, the partner coming towards them? What does Aries need to know? Traits, characteristics. The future partner that is coming towards Aries. What do they need to know, Spirit? about this person okay wow we have all three cards here the tower is the first card out so there's going to be possibly something unexpected about this person something that rocks you a little bit maybe someone revealing their feelings to you um sharing something with you that maybe you weren't expecting we have the two of pentacles as well so yeah i feel like whatever this is whoever's coming towards you like unexpectedly or whatever tower they're bringing with them i feel like um there's a bit of a back and forth energy maybe they're they just have a lot going on in their life a lot on their plate a lot they're juggling maybe they're not quite sure how to approach something with you this could also be that someone debated for a while before coming towards you in a tower like fashion and then we have the five of swords interesting even in this card like these two cards look very similar the people in the cards i mean um now the five of swords is typically a card about uh someone that kind of self-sabotages they don't play fair they are focused more on winning than they are on doing the right thing so i'm going to clarify this five of swords but it could very well be that this person that's coming towards you Maybe they had a conflict recently. Maybe there already existed conflict between you. Um, maybe so they're having some sort of karmic situation that's blowing up here. I see all of that as a possibility. Okay, let's see what this Five of Swords is about. Spirit, why is the Five of Swords here for Aries? What do we need to know about this Five of Swords? The Empress. Okay, so when I see a card like the Five of Swords or the Seven of Swords, or even another difficult card like the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, with the Empress, I think of something being born or created out of difficulty or struggle. Um, it could also be that the Empress represents a feminine energy here that has a lot of worth a lot of value and someone could have screwed up as well but i feel like since i'm reading for the collective i can't really narrow down you know exactly what the scenario is what i'm getting here is that someone wants to do something about this um i'm going to clarify this tower as well because now I'm, I'm curious uh, what the tower might be. But it's almost like if someone did self-sabotage, like let's say you're in the boat of someone that self-sabotaged and didn't treat you the way that you should have been treated in the past. They're regretting that now. And they might surprise you if they do come forward and admit that to you. If you're in the boat that someone is coming towards you and they've had difficulty in the past, maybe they didn't play their cards right in the past, in past relationships, well, now that they're coming towards you, they want to do things differently, right? There's there's two ways you can interpret that. So let's see what this tower is about, Spirit. Can we get some insight into this tower? Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Wow, the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card about coming together, reunions, celebrations, also third party energies as well it could be another person involved 
Bottom of the deck is the Moon, Pisces Energy, the Three of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I feel some of you are definitely dealing with a situation here. It's like this person and you must have some sort of history because I see you waiting for them. I see you waiting for them. I don't see you jumping in to do anything about it, though. You're more on the waiting side. You don't really have all of the facts, all of the clarity. There's things happening that you're not aware of. I'm also getting like um, you haven't communicated. You know, there's been kind of a communication lag here, maybe because of this three of cups. Maybe this is someone that already had another partner or another situation. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower, please. Why is the tower here? The Emperor, there you are, Aries, and the world. Okay, so I feel like this is someone, wow, the Emperor and the Empress on the board. I think that this person coming towards you, of course, this is not going to resonate with every Aries watching, so keep that in mind. But I feel like you already have a history. I feel like this is someone that wants to have a do-over, a new beginning with the world. Um, and I feel like it's beginning, you know, a new cycle is beginning because something has already ended. Maybe this person had a tower moment in their life. Maybe they want to address a tower with you or their approach to, it, or approach to you is going to be surprising or shocking. That's what you need to know. I feel like this person had a lot going on, whoever this is. And I also feel like they have a lot of regrets, you know, like they, they kind of regret the way that they handled things in the past. Let's get some oracles here about this individual. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about Aries and the person coming towards them? What do we need to know about this person coming towards Aries? Aries, I also feel like some, some of you have been dealing with a third party situation. Like there was someone else here. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They might have Earth in their chart. Um, Earth sign is also um, very grounded, patient, reliable energy. Um, they kind of take things a little bit more seriously, typically. And then we have Libra, ruled by Venus. So that's a justice card. Um, I feel like this is somebody that there's... Um, I'm getting like a maturing energy. Like this is someone that has learned a lot over time. Libra is very... Um, you know, they evaluate, right? Libra looks at both sides. That's why there's a scale there. Um, this person could also have Libra in their chart. But I'm getting more like justice energy there, like someone that has learned through their mistakes or their difficulties and has now become more balanced because of it. Made some tough choices, perhaps. Let's get an Ever After Oracle deck. This is now available in my Etsy shop. It's linked in the description box. Okay, so let's see. For Aries, what do we need to know about this future partner for Aries? Paper Lantern, message, secret admirer, and news. This person might be reaching out here to communicate with you. Um, they could be admiring you secretly, but I feel like it's someone that wants to talk. Mermaid is at the bottom of the deck. Rebirth, transformation, renewal. So I feel like, again, it's like this person wants a do-over. Maybe they want to have a transformation in this connection, renew this connection. Spirit, tell me more about this individual. What does Aries need to know about this person they don't know? Three of Pentacles. This is working together, collaborating, um, teamwork. Again, we have the three, three people. What else? What else does Aries need to know about this individual? Maybe what you need to know is that there is things this person is working on, putting in effort into king of pentacles Taurus, virgo capricorn some of you are dealing with someone that has already had a uh, responsibility somewhere else there has been some sort of situation this person has been busy with and it has not been with you they've been busy elsewhere tell me about the emperor and the empress Tell me about the Emperor and the Empress. What do we need to know about these two energies? 
Wow, the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's been a waiting period here. You both have been kind of apart, waiting for the other. There's the star at the bottom of the deck, hoping, wishing, having a desire for healing and renewal. This is for an Aries that you are thinking of someone that you already know about, waiting for someone that perhaps you separated from. That's what seems to be showing up here. And I do feel that for most of you, there has been a third person or situation. That's why the tower is here. There's something kind of unexpected about this or a tower that has happened to, in order to bring this person forward. Any advice, guidance for Aries? Advice, guidance, please, spirit. For Aries. Orphaned, number five. Interesting, and peace at the bottom of the deck. So again, I get that energy I got with the five of swords and the empress. Whatever someone has been feeling, which isn't good with the orphaned energy, this is kind of like the five of cups. There's disappointment, there's heartache, there's difficulty. It's like someone wants to arrive at peace right have a peaceful resolution you know ha no longer be in this state someone i feel wants to grow this start this over heal this with you so let's see what we have for leo we'll move on to leo i'll use a different deck for them as well let me put this back here what energies we have for leo All right, Leo, let's see what we have for you regarding your future partner. Spirit Angels, guys, what messages do you have for Leo? For Leo, the future person coming towards Leo, Leo's future partner spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Leo's future partner? What do we need to know about Leo's future partner? Wow, temperance, Sagittarius energy there. They could be a Sagittarius. But what I'm getting is, is like they're coming to you at the right time. Um, patience is needed. They're not coming fast. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This is an offer that's going to take its time to get to you. This person, they are, things are slowly and surely coming together in the universe for you to meet this person and be with this person. It's not gonna happen quickly. This could also be someone that's wrapping things up in their own life, you know, slowly finding balance in their own life, and then that kind of prepares them for this connection. Okay, five of swords. So there might be some sort of conflict. Um, there might be some sort of issue this person has dealt with. Um, this also came up for Aries, the five of swords. Um, typically they sabotage themselves, the five of swords, because they don't play fair. They think more about winning than they do about other people. So this could be a situation where, um, someone wants to balance something out with you that has already taken place, or this person is someone completely new to you, but they've had conflicts that they're tr like resolving because temperance is about balance and harmony and resolution, right? So temperance is like almost like you're coming to some sort of peaceful resolution of a, whatever was a problem or whatever was difficult, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What else do we need to know about this future partner coming towards Leo? What else do we need to know? Wow, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. If there's ever anybody that's like balanced and grounded and is just focused, it's the Queen of Pentacles. This could be how someone sees you, Leo, or how you see this other person. The Queen of Pentacles, you know, they're business oriented, um, good with finances, good with providing, good with taking care of the, the children. They are, you know, the ideal partner to have in a lot of ways when you want something long-term and stable and secure. Um, so I feel like this is somebody who, you know, 
this could be the energy they're bringing to the connection with you right someone very stable grounded we have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck willing to put in effort willing to work hard dedicated and focused you know this is the queen of pentacles is very focused and that's how they've gotten to where they are um this person can be very serious about you as well like you know they're, they're not here for a good time they're here for a long time especially with that eight of pentacles um, it could be that you bring this out of them, right? Like maybe they typically don't approach relationships in this way, but with you, it's different because you make them want to put in that effort. Or it could just be that because of everything that's gone on in this person's life, they've gotten to the point where now it's time to settle down and take things seriously. Let's get some more insight into who this person might be. Anything else we need to know about this future partner for Leo? Anything else? that we need to know about this future partner for Leo. That we need to know spirit about this person coming towards Leo. Enthusiastic, excited, and eager. Okay. Yeah, there's something about you and this relationship that's like, it motivates them. Open, expressive, inviting. So this is somebody that you might have a lot of good conversations with. They just can't wait to talk to you, to know more about you, to um, express themselves to you. Could be messages ha uh, happening back and forth. Very uh, good um, energy between you. Let's get an Ever After Oracle. This uh, deck is now available on my Etsy shop. It's linked in the description box if you're curious and want to see more details on that. All right, let's see. What do we need to know about this future partner for Leo spirit? What do we need to know about this future partner? Okay, got two. Wizard, powerful, resourceful creator. So this is kind of like the magician and it's definitely somebody that takes charge, takes matters into their own hands, creates their own reality. Um, I feel like this is somebody that's very, again, very motivated slaying a dragon triumph enemies achievement yeah and i feel like there's almost like a challenge here it's like this person needs to prove themselves to you or wants to show you that they're able to dedicate time to have success with you to achieve goals with you right like i feel like this is someone that's going to kind of put their best foot forward or at least um win you over like i feel like this is someone that's thinking okay I need to overcome whatever hurdle I need to overcome to let Leo know that I'm serious about them, that I mean what I say, that I am very committed to this relationship. I feel like you're going to have a lot of conversations with them because there's probably something that you want to know more about or you just want clarity on or maybe you just need a little reassurance, Leo, that it's not going to be like all the other times you've been with a person, right? Bottom of the deck, we have Sleeping Curse. In action, silence, dormancy. So it could be that there hasn't been, you know, maybe this was somebody that missed their shot in the past. Maybe they didn't shoot their shot when they should have. Maybe there has been distance between you and this person or things just haven't been happening for you in love. You know, like it's been quiet in the love front for you. And now something is happening that kind of like wakes you up. Let's see what's, yeah. So this is love is right behind that. So this is the miracle that I've been dreaming of happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment. So I definitely feel like in the middle of like no action, nothing going on in love, something shows up. And also I, I do sense that for some of you watching, you may have had a history with this person and things cooled off and now it's like an opportunity to reconnect here. But I feel like this could, you know, it doesn't have to be a past person. I feel like this could also be for those single leos that have been waiting for their person to arrive and it's like where are they and they've been patient they're waiting because there's a waiting game here with temperance let's see what else do we need to know about this person that we might not know about any hidden factors that leo needs to know about this future partner spirit anything that leo needs to be aware of for this future partner for leo please Wow, the Ace of Wands. So all you need to know is that there's something exciting beginning here with the Ace of Wands. A new start, a new adventure, something that's very passionate. 
something where there's excitement, adventure, that's the Ace of Wands, fiery, you know, something that is like sparked. Um, I feel like there's going to be a new start for you in love with this person, something different about this connection. And make no mistake, it's because someone's creating this reality. Someone's using their resources to their advantage, right? They see something, they go after it. They talk about whatever it is they need to talk about, right? Any advice or guidance for Leo in love regarding this person coming in regarding love? What advice, guidance do you have for Leo? One more. Advice, guidance for Leo spirit. Any advice, guidance, please, for Leo? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? This one. Observer, number 49. And then milk and honey. Wow, this is like getting everything. Milk and honey. Let's look at number 49. Again, I'm getting that waiting energy. Like I'm not, like someone's like looking, literally standing around looking for their person. Like, where are they? Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Um, there are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. So I feel like, okay, some of you might have to be open-minded about this person coming towards you. Maybe they're not really like your type or the person you thought you would end up with. Maybe you've been kind of focused on the wrong type of people um, or just haven't really been open to uh, doing things differently when it comes to love. But I feel like you probably could should consider that, Leo, because I think it would really invite something really good into your life in terms of love. All right, so let's move on to Sagittarius and see what energies we have for them. I'm gonna use a different deck. Put this back here. Use this deck. Oops. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see, what energies do we have for Sagittarius? Spirit interest guides. What does Sagittarius need to know about the person coming towards them, about their future partner? What do we need to know? What are the energies for this person coming towards Sagittarius? Traits, characteristics for this future partner. Wow, the Ace of Wands. Someone passionate, motivated, something that is very exciting, a new adventure, passionate endeavor, hot, fiery chemistry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Could be a fire sign as well. I'm getting a lot of warmth from this card. I normally don't think of like fire, you know, like I don't take it that literally, but I'm, I'm getting a lot of warmth from this card. Like, you know when someone like warms your soul or like you get those like warm butterflies in your stomach? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting there. What else do we need to know about this future partner for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know about this future partner for Sagittarius? Wow, the Six of Cups. Are you freaking kidding me? So not only do you have that fiery, exciting, sexy energy, but you also have sweetness, purity, innocence with the Six of Cups past memories, good memories, childhood innocence. You know, the Six of Cups could be a card about the past, but it's mainly a card about nostalgia. You know, you're thinking of better times. You're thinking about the past and the good times you had. Um, so, there, you know, there, there could be many ways to interpret this. This person could have both a pureness, a, a purity and innocence, a sweetness about them, but also the sexiness, right? The passion. But it could also be that this is, you know, something that started a long time ago in your childhood or in your past. Could be, you know, starting over or, you know, there's like a fire being lit here. Um, what else? What else do we need to know? 
could be a soulmate as well coming in someone you just have that very sweet connection with what else do we need to know about this future partner coming towards Sagittarius the ten of wands okay so the ten of wands is about someone that is burdened has a lot going on very busy um, carrying a heavy load a heavy weight um, they're a bit brought down by this um, now it's interesting they have the ten of wands and then the ace of wands right beside it because once you put down this ten of wands then their the ace of wands starts you know the, the once the ten is done then the one starts again right because tens are about completion you've reached the end and the ten of wands is really a card about you're almost at the finish line you're almost ready to set down this burden and be free to start again so there's many ways to interpret this again um i am reading for the sagittarius collective so obviously not every single one of you has the same exact story but i feel like one of you in this connection and i'm going to say it's your person because we're looking at their energy right here but of course energy does like to flip around but let's just say that this is your person's energy there could be something that they're ready to finish to wrap up a cycle they're ready to wrap up a burden or an obligation that they're done with or ready to be done with so that they can start new they might be very busy they might have had a lot going on but they're ready to set this down to start something new we have the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so this is a card about working together collaborating effort work it could also be a card about like employment tell me about this ten of wands let's see if we can get a clarifier here anything we need to know about this ten of wands tell me about this ten of wands the moon pisces energy so there could be something that yeah and then there's the nine of wands hmm so when I see the Ten of Wands with the moon, the moon's about like a lack of clarity, you know, what's hidden under the surface. Um, you're not seeing very clearly. Uh, there's doubts, there's fears, there's an unknown energy. When I see that with the Ten of Wands, I think maybe there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Maybe there's more to a problem or an obstacle than you realize. Maybe this person is keeping something to themselves that they don't really want to reveal. Um, maybe they have a, um, okay, I'm thinking, um, I'm getting this energy of someone that might have had a very difficult past and they don't just reveal that to everybody. They take their time before they share that with others. That's another way to interpret that. Um, this could be somebody that's a little secretive at first um, until they trust you because the Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Again, like the wounded soldier, someone has been through a lot, of, a lot of difficulty and they don't find it so easy to trust again. They're very um, vulnerable and so they become extremely protective of themselves, very guarded. So there's different ways that you can interpret this, but I feel like, you know, if this is all of your partner's energy. It's not so easy for them to jump back into something, despite the fact that this looks really good. Um, they might be having their own baggage or situations they have to work through, work that they have to do to overcome these difficulties. Um, I don't think it's going to be an obstacle where like you don't end up together at all. It's just something to consider, right? Let's see. What else? What else do we need to know about this future partner coming towards Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person? Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have air in their chart. Air signs are very uh, fun, flexible, kind of, um, they flit around, intelligent, curious, good communicators. What else do we need to know about this person? Enthusiastic, excited, and eager. That's like that Ace of Wands. So again, I, I feel like this person is very excited, very eager. I feel like you might have a lot of talking back and forth. Um, but I also feel like they're, the deeper parts is, is like maybe you have a lot of fun with this person, Sagittarius. You get along really well, um, a lot of good times, right? But then when it gets time to be serious, there might be a few hurdles here. But I feel like there's definitely a spark, a spark between you and this person. Could be a Pisces. I have Pisces in their chart as well because we have the moon. All right, let's get an Ever After Oracle. This deck is available now on my Etsy shop. If you're curious. Okay. 
for Sagittarius. What do we need to know about their future partner, Spirit? What do we need to know about their future partner? Oh, wow. We got Enchanted Rose. Karmic Lesson and Judgment. So this person could have been learning some karmic lessons. And that's why the Ten of Wands is here with the Moon. Like maybe you're not completely aware of everything that has happened uh, with them. There could have been a karmic situation that happened between you and this person. Um, maybe this person misjudged you or you misjudged them or um, their karmic lesson was that they thought they knew what they were doing and it turned out they didn't know very well at all what they were doing, right? Like um, sometimes that's what happens is we make mistakes and that leads to understanding. What else? What else do we need to know about this future partner coming towards Sagittarius? Labyrinth, confusion, uncertainty, complexity. Yeah, I feel like this is not going to be a quote unquote easy relationship because one of you has been through a lot and that's not something that you can just erase, right? I also feel like there's there's more to this than meets the eye in, in some way. So maybe this turns out like you meet someone and they're like, oh, this person doesn't seem to take life too seriously. They're very fun and outgoing, right? But then you realize there's a depth to them because of all the difficulties they've been through, right? I'm getting that there's this is going to be an exploratory relationship for a lot of you. You're, it's, there's going to be a layer of complexity that maybe you didn't realize at first. But I think also it's going to be rewarding because of that. Bottom of the deck, we have Paper Lantern, Message, Secret, and Mire, and News. So I definitely feel like you're, there's going to be messages back and forth here, a communication, um, uh, messages that, or, or conversations is what I wanted to say, not communication. Conversations that help, you know, this connection. Because sometimes the only way that you can really be more certain, less confused, and less judgy is by communicating, right? By getting information, by getting clarity. What does Sagittarius need to know about this person, this future partner, that they might not be aware? Oh my God, the Two of Cups. Okay. So yeah, there's a special connection here, Sagittarius. This is, I feel, a soulmate for a lot of you. This is someone that you feel very strong connection with. There's the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I, I, I just get this energy that... Maybe this starts as like a one night stand or this starts as something fun, not serious, but it develops into something very special because I get almost like you're surprised at how things end up with this individual. Um, or maybe you're just surprised at how much you just vibe or, or connect. What you need to know is that this is a soulmate, I feel. Someone that also with the Page of Pentacles is going to ask you out take things a little bit slow, but there's a possibility for long-term security. What advice, what guidance do you have for Sagittarius spirit? What advice? Okay. Observer. Leo just got this and breathe. So observer is about seeing things differently. It's about, you know, you're at a distance. So you're able to see things from a different angle, different point of view, kind of keep an open mind um things are not like what they seem you know so you have to kind of like back up a little bit to get the full picture um breathe i an observer like when i see these two together i think that you know patience take your time look at things from all different angles don't jump to conclusions don't jump into judging someone um maybe be a little bit more open-minded with yourself with another person give someone a chance that maybe you wouldn't normally give a chance. That's kind of what I'm getting here because breathe is, um, you know, it's almost about being centered, grounded and receiving blessings through that. Um, finding inner peace, inner balance, you know? So I feel like this is not something that you can just jump into and you know exactly where it's headed and what, where it's going to end up. Um, all you need to know is that this is someone very special, that this is a new beginning, that this is something very exciting, but also it will take a little bit of effort to get that relationship that you've been wanting. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. If you're still with me from the beginning of this video, thank you so much for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed the readings and um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.